Bobcat Cam's version 27 has added an operation stock to many of our mill professional toolpaths, allowing you to better target material when machining complex parts. Save your simulated cut models and use them as your operation stock for in-process programming. This new feature allows for greater toolpath efficiency and is easy to use. Let's take a look at how this works. We want to take a look at operation stock and how it works. In this example, we want to machine this part on our four axis mill. Now we previously turned down our stock on a lathe, so we have something to hold on to. This is the stock model we are using. With standard tool paths, the generated tool path does not follow the stock model. As you can see, on either side of the stock model, the tool path is extended past where the stock is. The resulted path is not as efficient as it could be. When using our professional tool paths, you can see how the tool path is trimmed to the stock model, which is much more efficient. By default, professional roughing tool paths use the stock model as a 3D boundary. Next, we want to look at how to save a simulation model to use as your operation stock for your next process. So what we'll do is delete our mill standard tool path and run our simulation. From here, we can simulate our mill professional tool path. As you can see, we have a very efficient tool path that is only generated where there is stock. Once the simulation is done, we can go to the simulation tab and click on the save stock icon. At this point, we are saving an STL file of the machine stock after the first roughing routine. The next thing we want to do is load an index system for our next operation. Now this is really easy to do. We just choose a new index system and select the UCS for the new part orientation. Now that our index system is set up, we want to use the same roughing feature we did in our first index system in the second. So we'll just copy and paste that into the new index system. From here we need to reselect our geometry and reselect our boundary so that we will apply our tool path to our model. Now the last thing we want to do is choose our operation stock. We right click on operation stock, choose select STL file, and then we choose the STL file that we created from our first simulation. It's just that easy. Now the software will use your saved simulated model as the operation stock for this roughing routine. When we calculate our toolpath, you'll see the toolpath is much more efficient, only targeting where material is. Using operation stock on the additional index systems of this part will allow you to reduce your cycle time by as much as 50%. Operational stock is very easy to use and is available for most of our mill professional tool paths. Click or call us today to learn how we can save you time and money with our powerful and easy to use CAD CAM software.